On the surface, the Cruze is the kind of budget compact family car that Chevrolet's previous efforts would lead us to expect, with low pricing and generous specification. Look closer though and you'll find a surprising package with an up-to-the-minute technical spec, stylish looks, a quality interior and sound safety credentials. Now, the challenge for Chevrolet as it bids to make further inroads into the UK car market is as much one about altering public perception as it is about achieving higher standards with its products. It arrived on these shores with the bizarre combination of a badge known for uh, gas-guzzling American trucks or muscle cars and a product range made up of rebadged budget runabouts from Korea. Slowly but surely though, uh, the brand has been working at unifying its uh, perception and its product range in a way that will hit the right notes with European buyers. Take the cruise model we're looking at here. Could this be the car through which this all-American mark finally finds its European accent? The background story certainly sounds promising. This, after all, was the first Chevrolet to be tested and tuned in Europe for European tastes, having covered over 1.2 kilometers in durability testing. It's based on the high-tech GM platform developed for the latest generation Vauxhall Astra. It's styled by uh, the man who helped create the cheeky little fashion icon we know as the Fiat 500. And as a result, it's everything that you don't expect from a Korean-built car. Visually striking, dynamically adept, and possessed of a quality feel. Handling excellence is not something that Chevrolet is really known for, but the Cruze represents a big step in the right direction in this respect, as you would expect given its Vauxhall Astra based underpinnings. Aside from very quick and direct steering, the whole experience is geared more for comfort than sporting endeavour, which will probably be uh, very appealing to its slightly clientele. So it is that there's more body roll and less grip than you get in a Focus or an Astra. But unless you rev the engine a lot, refinement's impressive, suggestive of, much, of a much larger and more comfortable saloon. And uh, the ride's pretty good overall, but the porous surfaces. Extra effort has gone into strengthening the body structure, and that's a central reason behind this car's polished performance on the road. The engine choice sees buyers in search of petrol power choose between a 113 PS 1.6 litre petrol engine or a 143 PS 1.8 litre petrol unit. If you're looking for diesel, there's a choice of a couple of uh, 2 litre common rail options developing either 125 or 150 PS. Now, you're not going to get performance fireworks from any of these units, but they're all quite adequate with even the feeblest 1.6 petrol getting from uh, rest to 62 miles an hour in 11.8 seconds on the way to a top speed of 115 miles an hour. While at the other end of the scale, the fastest 2 litre VCDI 150 PS diesel model makes uh, 62 from rest in uh, 8.7 seconds on the way to a top speed of 130 miles an hour. Lots of Chevrolet's UK offerings have been rather forgettable from a design perspective. The Cruze changes that. Here we've got a compact saloon, it's handsome, it's got an athletic stance and distinctive sculpted lines. The design language is set to be reproduced across all of the brand's forthcoming models so we can expect to see a lot more of the distinctive deep front grille split by a horizontal bar with the Chevrolet badge in the centre. The front headlamps of the Cruze curl around the front corners, uh, smearing back to a point along the bonnet line, while the roof drops down towards the rear, here meeting a, a stubby short tail. The car is uh, 4.6 metres long and 1.8 metres wide, so that puts it in about the same size bracket as rivals like Mazda's 3 or uh, the Volkswagen Jetta. Interior quality is a sticky issue for any budget car, as materials quality and eye-catching design are usually the first things to be sacrificed to achieve that eye-catching price. Now the Cruze defies expectations on this score and represents a giant step forward in this respect for this Chevy badge. 
Um, certain elements of the interior, the, the wheel, the stalks, the headlamp switches, uh, they'll be familiar to owners of Vauxhall's insignia, which is good news. And the general design of the dash is appealing, with the stereo controls in particular being a, um, a high point. Unlike some of the brand's other models, there are no uh, hard, scratchy plastics to be found. And Chevrolet has engineered in a wide range of adjustment to the driver's seat and to the wheel, which should enable most people to get comfy. In the rear, headroom might be a little tight for the very tall, but overall there's a lot more space than you would expect in this class of car. Room for four adults to travel comfortably, although the narrowness of the cabin and the chunky transmission tunnel might make it a little bit of a squeeze for five. Storage space around the cabin is good, with adjustable cup holders between the front seats and uh, bottle storage in the front doors. As for luggage space, well, this saloon model is never going to be as versatile as a rival hatchback, but the cruise does its best. There's a 450 litre boot here, that's bigger than many uh, competitors like, say, Mazda's three four-door, and uh, it's large enough to accommodate, say, a couple of bags of golf clubs laying sideways with a couple of compact golf trolleys in front. If you need more space, you can push forward the 60-40 split rear seats. List prices suggest that you'll pay somewhere in the 12 to 15,000 pound bracket for one of the many cruise variants on offer. As ever, that means the Chevy value proposition is spot on. The saloon version we're looking at here is gunning for a pretty small part of the UK market. So small, in fact, that some rival makers don't even bother offering a Focus family hatchback size four door. Of those that do, the cruise looks fantastic value. Compared to a uh, Mazda 3 alternative that's slightly less powerful, you're looking at a saving of over £2,000 and nearly double that in the case of a Volkswagen Jetta. If you like this Chevrolet but want a little more uh, saloon space and don't mind compromising or trading in those eye-catching looks, then Chevrolet can sell you a, uh, a larger Epica four-door for only a few hundred pounds more. If you're prepared to consider this cruise against conventional five-door family hatchback Focus or Astra alternatives, you're looking at a saving between three and a half and five thousand pounds. As for engine choice, well the 1500 pound premium required to move from lower order 1.6 litre petrol to lower order 2 litre diesel or from 1.8 litre petrol to 150 PS 2 litre diesel is something that you might want to think carefully about given that it uh, only buys you another 7 to 8 miles to the gallon of more expensive fuel. You might also want to consider carefully going for one of the pricier trim variants given that despite the value proposition on offer even entry level versions are pretty well equipped. The kit tally across the range includes air conditioning, a height adjustable driver's seat, remote central locking, electric front windows, a four speaker CD stereo and headlights that stay on for a few seconds longer at night after you've locked the car to guide you to your front door. Safety wise, you've got uh, six airbags, that's front, side and roof curtain, plus uh, ABS brakes and impressively ESC stability control across the range to help you out if you enter a corner too fast or if you're driving on slippery surfaces. Now Chevrolet is hoping that this uh, uh, safety provision will be a major selling point of the car along with the exemplary uh, crash protection qualities of the basic platform. Historically, Chevrolet products haven't enjoyed the strongest of residual values, with the brand having operated predominantly in the budget sector of the market. Now, the cruise could change all of that if the public can be made to view it as a more affordable alternative to a Vauxhall Astra. It's certainly the most convincing UK market Chevrolet to date. In terms of uh, uh, fuel economy, the two 2.0-litre um, two diesel engines um, perform pretty well, both returning around 50 miles to the gallon. But not quite so striking are they when it comes to CO2, uh, returning between 145 and 149 grams per kilometre of CO2. Uh, the uh, petrol models are closer to the market norm in this respect, managing 159 grams per kilometre of CO2 and 41.5 uh, miles to the gallon on the combined cycle. 
Insurance groups, well, they range between uh, groups four and 10, or four to seven for mainstream models. And Chevrolet will give you a three-year, 60,000-mile warranty. Chevrolet is a massive name in the global motor industry, but it's still awaiting a car to really establish it in the UK. This could be the one. It surpasses any previous Chevrolet offering in terms of quality, and is priced low enough to make it an attractive budget option. Overall, this cruise offers more of a glimpse into what this American brand is all about. Its core strength remains the value proposition on offer, but with sharp looks, a good safety spec, and a decent quality interior, it has the capacity to surprise you if you're prepared to look beyond the obvious candidates in your search for a compact family car.